Qdacity wanted to be more open to public and give people without accounts some ideas what Qdacity is about. So our topic was implementing a sandbox mode where people can test the basic features of our Qdacity. A bonus goal for us was giving registered users the chance to give read-only access to non-registered users, which we also fulfilled. So let's head over to our agenda. First of all, I'll give you a small impression of QR, how Qdacity was before. Then we will hop over to the requirements we had as a team. And finally, I will show you the sandbox and the sharing feature with some user navigation. Um, in live demo, we will have a Q&A session, which I will skip in the video for obvious reasons. All right, then let's head over to Qdacity as it was before. This was the starting page. And basically all you can could do was uh, browse the page, um, get some information, log in, to work on your projects or leave because there was uh, nothing more you could do. Now we have expanded the menu on the left um, with a sandbox. So now when you click on sandbox, you can actually test the coding editor of Qdacity. In order to implement these features, we had the following main requirements. First of all, in the sandbox mode, non-registered users should be able to use the basic features of the coding editor. If they want to use more features, which we disable, then the user can get prompted to register. And when the user decides to register from sandbox mode, the project will already get converted into a normal project for registered users. For the sharing feature, which I talked about, a registered user should be able to make parts of the project or the entire project visible to non-registered users. This is meant to be read-only access, of course. And for us, uh, we only implemented um, sharing the code system and the codebook of a project. But this can get increased, of course. Um, these parts also should get set to private again. So if I don't want to publish the project anymore, it should be possible to set this to set it back to private. All right, then let's go to the user navigation. When you want to enter sandbox mode, as I already showed you, you just need to open the left menu and click on sandbox. And then you will get to the coding editor. This coding editor is basically the same as it is for registered users. But here you can see there is a document already loaded as an example. And this document can change language between German and English. Uh, depending on which language you open Qdacity. So here you can test the basic features, but if you click on a feature that is grayed out, in this case all, for some reason, um, you get prompted to register. And when you click on register here, you get back to the landing page where you can create an account. For the sharing feature, this one also starts at the landing page, of course, but for this you need to be logged in, you need to be a registered user. Um, you go to your dashboard, to your project, and then you can see the small button which states sharing options. When you click on this one, a prompt opens and lets you choose what you want to publish. So if you want to publish only certain parts or the entire project, for example. Once you chose your type, in this case codebook, um, a sharing link is generated which you can copy and you can send it to whoever you want to. When you click on publish now, the project gets persisted. And this is the final prompt. And there you can see you can already depublish the project. All right, any questions? I don't think so. Thanks for watching and have a good time.